Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Your humble servant, the Black Shadow, is actually here. I know. What a shock. Yes, hello. Welcome back to Let's Play Blind Dark Cloud. Uh, it has been a bit of a slowish sort of start to the year, actually, in regards to uh, doing uh, recordings and the like. Um, it has been surprisingly busy the past the past week or so. I thought I'd have a lot more time to uh, crack on with recording, but it's, it's just not happened uh, since uh, New Year's has passed. It's just how it's gone, so uh, I apologise for that, but we should be into a bit more of a regular schedule now that at least I've got a weekend in front of me, so I should be able to do some recording, which is good. Uh, we are locked up um, and stocked up, for that matter, on a absolute bucket ton of uh, repair powders, which is good, and uh, we're still cruising our way through what is left of the... Um, uh, I didn't mean to go this way. Oh, yeah, of course, I'm still in the Rooney, aren't I? I went and did some off-screen uh, buying and stuff. Uh, but we're more or less at the back end of the Wise Owl Forest now. We've not got much left further to go, so we're just going to crack straight on in here. Yeah, I got into the Rune, doing a bit of buying and selling. I went and dropped some extra stuff off, um, like at the, the Hags. Uh, just some general inventory bits and pieces, so let's go. I'm very eager to get through the rest of the forest. Believe me, sooner the better. That way we can actually look at dealing uh, with Ma uh, Matataki and actually managing to, uh, you know, sort the place out. Uh, of course, Toe and Sword still looking pretty damn good. Uh, well, I do intend to be making some use out of, um, out of uh, Chow, though. Not Chow. Um... Yeah, Chow. <sighs> My pronunciations also the past few days have not been too good, so I'm uh, having some fun in games. So uh, let's go and bring her straight out. We're going to crack on. But yeah, so I do want to make some use out of her. I say, I suspect I may not be making too much use out of Goro for um, a lot of the uh, series, but I can definitely see plenty of uh, plenty of use still out of um, out of Young Chiao and just having the range option, which is massive. So, although when it comes to werewolves, who have a lot of health, as I hit the tree, oi, oi, no, you don't. Could be fun. Yeah, so enemies are getting quite tanky in this forest, so it's a little bit of a concern, so we need to keep an eye off that. Right, where were you in regards to getting this built up? So attack, just attack, that's all we're looking for for you, is it? Do I have anything that will actually improve the attack of us? That's endurance. Remember, it's a double slot as well, which is nice, so we actually get um, big bonuses out of that. Big money, big prizes. What does this do? Ice, those... I should probably put something pretty decent in this. Which I bought one of the diamonds, actually. I've got a couple of diamonds in the in the hag's chest. I would have actually considered using one of them. Just to whack a load of stuff onto that. Alas, I don't have it on me, so we're gonna have to do something here. Uh any of these give amp yeah. No, it gives mimic damage, but I'd never really use you against a mimic, would I? So, fine. I guess you get a big endurance boost, which is this one. There we go. So you get a massive endurance boost as well as uh, use against those things. Sure. And we'll just give you some extra random stuff. We'll give you some. Uh, we'll give you some undead, and we'll give you a little bit of. Uh, we'll give you some plant buster as well. Why the hell not? Sure. Also went and dropped off the uh, level up powders we've got sitting around as well because uh, well as I put them back at the uh, back in the storage we can pull them out as and when we need them so that'd be fine. To find a way to upgrade that attack quicker would be good. Unfortunately, I don't have any particular way of doing it, which is very unfortunate. We'll need to. Uh, Oi! You put those pumpkins down. It is heavily out of season now. Still doing quite a lot of damage though, which does please me heavily. No, don't do it, witch. Let me get my boost first. Oh. 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 Oh, well that's maybe very sad. Well, it's just gonna go ahead and fix this. It's not a bad uh, little thing, actually. I should again I, I'm like I'm sort of debating should I make some use out of Goro? Um, because there are gonna be probably times. Ow! I'm going to need to make use out of him, but 
Again, I just don't think a lot of the enemies in this area are particularly suitable to fight, especially things like the the witches here. Oh wait, no. I don't. You know, something like this, Goro's gonna have a hell of a time trying to hit. So uh, we need to find some sort of more appropriate enemies for him to actually fight, and then try and sort of uh, get some experience for him. Because like the weapon he's got already is not the worst. The uh, the sort of uh, metal mallet thing he's got, the spike thing, it's not that bad a weapon, all things considered. So there's grounds to work with. There's grounds to work with. Well, is that well two or well Z? Sounds like some kind of like um, some kind of like American rap or something. God knows. All right, we've got. Some interesting. Okay. You know what I was saying about big, hunking enemies uh, that should be easier to fight as Goro? This counts, right? Get him! No! Oh, no! It's like two behemoths here. Oh, shit. No! Yes! Oh, actually, no. Suddenly there's a problem here. Uh oh. Just come back! Yeah! That's what I thought! I'll just charge attack you. Ah! Oh. Oh, shit. Ah! <laughs> okay. Fighting with Goro is uh, decidedly tricky. But we got some bread, so I'm going to entertain this. So his charge attack is not bad, because it's, 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 it's very likely to actually hit a few of them. We're still landing it. Come on. That'll do. That's acceptable. Right, he's dead. Come on. Yes. He's using the weapon points up a little bit, doing it via this way, but at least it's fairly consistent in hitting him a lot of times. So I think it's it's probably worth it. It's probably worth it. All right, then. We've up, we've maxed out his ABS. So what the heck did this need? Attack, speed, MP, and mimic breaking. Okay. Now, speed is the turquoise? Which you actually could do with, because obviously it's a very heavy weapon. And that also improves mimic breaking as well, so there's no reason not to put that on. Uh, we'll actually give it a little bit of extra speed as well. That sounds good to me. I should at least attempt to upgrade it, you know, and attempt to make it a better weapon. Worst comes to worst, if I end up just thinking, eh, it's not a lot of use. We can always break it down later on for a better, for a better looking weapon, right? There you go. Speed's already done, as is mimic breaking. That's nice. So it's just attack and uh, and um, MP to work on. That's good. MP I can slowly work away. It will take some time. I love how I, I start the start of the video. Not going to use Towen. Ten minutes later, I'm using Towen. Typical. We got Kai and Momo's house. We got a lot of Giorama stuff to do uh, very shortly. There's the key for the door over here, so that's quite convenient. But yeah, we got a lot of lot of Giorama ring to do. That will be a uh, a meaty video. I ain't fighting this Goro. Not worth my time. Been there, tried that. Would you open the damn box? Okay. Oh, boy. Well. I do need to get more experience with you two, so uh, let's do it this way. I'm going to take fun from both sides. Oh, not anymore. Oh, are you actually dead dead? Or No, 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 I don't think so. Whoa, that was close. Good stuff. They're dying kind of... Did they usually die like this? That's weird. It's not that the animations were glitching there. That was, um, that was all kinds of strange. Whatever. There's our magic crystal, so that's good. Oh, for goodness sakes. Every time I, I go and maneuver there, I always do it the wrong way around. But the controls to left and right aren't quite what you'd think they are. And even up and down, it's like... It, it's, it's like it's inverting itself unnecessarily, and I find it quite annoying. But it is what it is. All right, you damn owl. I have some goods for you, if you'll accept them. Where's the damn stone? No, of course you won't take the damn stone, will you? I hate you. I hate you and all your family. 
had my way, I would put you all on a fire and cook you. It would be great. Right, another werewolf. Ooh, thunder gem. Ah, something else we need to do as well in this video um, is we need to actually make our way back to the road. There's something I forgot to do, and that is we need to have ourselves a little poke into the game manuals because I've been commenting and wondering about how the hell this... Um, well, I'll do some fighting while we're doing this. Uh, but some business with, like, how you... Um, I I've been saying, like, if you kill enemies with items, the game has told me that you can get uh, drops for, um, you know, like, uh, certain types of tokens for that beast, for the uh, type of enemy it is. Now, some people have said... I've asked for some more details because I've been a little bit confused about it. Um, and I've, I've had a mix of some people telling me that it can happen. Some people told me they can't. Some people said they didn't even know that was a thing in this game. So, oh my god. Ooh, yikes. That was, that was risky. She's not done that. That was, um, that was asking for trouble. Let's get some uh, health from the first restore there. Very good. Now, to actually look at the game manual, this is one of the only games I've ever known where to actually look at the manual, you have to have said manual as an item in your actual inventory, which I don't. I can't think of any other games that have actually, that are like that. I just can't. So, uh, we'll need to return to the Rune and do that. That's not how quite I intended that to go. Come on! Aha! Now you're mine, scumbag. Okay, give me the, uh, give me the damn berry. This enemy in here has the chestnut, which I require. Oh, for God's sakes. Thank you. Whatever it is. Give this a try. This may or may not work. This brings up another point that was mentioned in comment section. That if I need to, uh, if I want the auto repair powder to work, I have to set it as an active item. You know, we started this series so well. Back in the Divine Cave. We saw, you know, a little bit of, like, the start wasn't great, and I did a little bit of early work off screen, and we came back, and we butchered everything, and we beat the shit out of the Divine Beast. Things have been terrible since we've got here, haven't they? It's been absolutely abysmal. <sighs> I hate my life. Well, Goro, looks like you're going back on the uh, effective injured reserve list, buddy. Sorry. Oh, God. Oh, God. The regret. The regret is heavy. Let's get the treasure chest. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, for the love of Christ. Not in the mood. I was wondering where the hell this chestnut was. I was like, I'm pretty sure I hadn't seen the chestnut yet. <sighs> so, yeah. Losing the mallet, it's not the biggest lost. Losing the damn uh, garnet that I used on it, or whatever the hell it was, that jewel, that's unfortunate. So, we are... Uh, we're leaving this village for the... Uh, we're leaving town for the moment in the forest and everything. We need to do some things. Urgently. Let's get out of here quickly. Before I make more mistakes. We would have thought LP in 2020 would be so damn hard. Right, okay. So, first thing we're going to go and do is head back to Narune. That would explain why I saved in Narune and didn't save in Matataki. As a reminder to go and get the manual. That sounds like the sort of thing I would have done. It does, it does, it does. Oh, god damn it. 
did it last time too with a camera. It was not appreciated. Right, so I check with the hag here. So we're going to take a couple of bits and pieces. We're going to... Uh, here's the... Yeah, so we got the power-up powder. Little premium waters. We're going to drop some stuff off. We're going to keep uh, checking in the... Uh, like the chickens and like the big heels. Like the mighty heels I've dropped off here as well. Uh, because we won't be needing them at the moment. We just don't need that many, so... I'm also going to drop one of the uh, revival powders off as well. We do have our gold bullion. Which I might well take with me, actually. Yeah, I think we're going to take that with us. I'm going to drop off the Mimi. And... We are going to take our... Uh... Take it. I'm going to take the manual as well. Thank you. Right. Let's, uh, I, I thought I'd, I'd done some things. Yeah, so you see, now I've got the manual in my inventory. Suddenly, manuals. It's so weird. Like, I've never had it. Could anyone name another game that has this, like, as an actual thing in the game? Because I legit can't think of any. You either have the manual, like, in your menu at all times. It gradually gets better. Or you have to go to a certain location to view manuals at all times. And then maybe eventually you get one to take with you. Not one like this, though. This is a very, very peculiar system. What we are going to do is we're going to set that as well. Oh, I can't. I'm only allowed to set set, uh, set one powder at a time. I can't stack powders. Interesting. Okay. Right. Whoops. Manuals. Dungeon. Uh, use item? I think it might be under use item here. Uh, items used. Bombs. During battle. Uh, how to... Wait, what? During battle, switch active items with the left-right directional buttons. Unlike other menus. Yeah, yeah. Throwing items such as the bomb or gems can be done by setting an active menu and pressing the square button. Pressing and holding the square button down allows a red target cursor to be displayed. I mean, the cursor of the left stick to release the square button to throw. Ha! Huh. I didn't know you could do that. Well, good thing we went to look, wasn't it? Um, weapon. Uh, fishing is our fishing uh, explanation we'll go into soon. So, everyone, so I've uh, had a dig through uh, the manual in as much detail as I've got available to me in game, and uh, I have found absolutely no reference to what the hell I'm talking about at all. <laughs> now, I am 100% sure that the game told me about you can get hold of attachments from enemies by throwing stuff and killing them with them. Like, if it's not in one of these these manual things, then it has to be like something that the Fairy King said uh, early in the game. Uh, and I'm gonna have to probably might have to go and hunt that down just to be sure. But uh, in my exasperation of not finding anything, I decided to look this up because this is really bugging me and I need an answer. So I've uh, had a hunt around and I'm going to be quoting sources here from the Strategy Wiki for Dark Cloud. And I went on the attachments page to get some more information. The following was, uh, was noted to me. Quote, you can find out the type of an enemy by throwing a bomb at it. If it drops an item, it will usually be the buster attachment that's effective against that enemy. Which suggests that you can use bombs to kill enemies and get hold of attachments. Now, this is, now I don't know if it's just bombs or anything else, because uh, later on it says, uh, Drop does not include buster attachments you get from, by throwing projectiles, which is a bunch of garble and may need removing. So I'm going to assume that I am right here, that you can perhaps get items by throwing stuff at them. But it might only be bombs. Now, let's take that that's the truth. Which is absurd. I don't know why it's only just bombs. So I then was like, well, how can it only be bombs? Because enemies have different health throughout the game. How does that work? So I looked up bombs and found out apparently um, that uh, bombs and the damage they do actually varies throughout the game. The exact same item. How it apparently works is that when you go and throw a bomb in a game, um, the different dungeons of this game have different values. And uh, the damage that said uh, the bomb does, I don't know if it's just the bomb, it could be other thrown items, uh, is based dependent on the dungeon you're in. So, for example, the Divine Beast Cave, uh, a bomb you throw has a, uh, a damage rating of 30. Now, obviously, bear in mind that enemies have their own defense value, which reduces the damage that they might take from throwing items and such. But regardless, apparently, that's how it works. We're going to drop the auto repair power. Nah, now nah, we're going to keep it. 
But uh, yeah, so apparently, so example, so the uh, Divine Beast Cave, the bomb has an attack power of 30. Yet in the in the Forest Owl place that we're in at the moment, bombs have an attack power of 60. So it's so the attack power of the bomb scales as you go to these different villages throughout the game or different dungeons throughout the game, which would get around like um, the whole like using one item to get what you need from enemies because the, the 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 item will get more powerful as you go into the later dungeons but it still seems absurd like i i am mystified at best that this is apparently how we want to run it so uh basically it means that we need to find a store later on in the game that sells bombs and i need to buy a load of them to test my theory but we can't do that right now so yeah it's been uh it's been interesting, everyone. It's been interesting. Right, let's get back into the damn forest. We're going to do one more stage, and then we're going to uh, end this cluster of a video. But that's the best I've got. If anyone can enlighten me with further details, please do. In confirming or denying or whatever. Ah. Hello. The dwelling of the forest guard. Light is coming from the soil. There's definitely something uh, something up there. Interesting. Well, I don't think we have an item that we can use in order to uh, in order to actually assist us here by the looks of it. No. Well, looks like we've at least made our way through to the uh, end of the end of the dungeon, at least, so that's good. But we need to get something in order to allow us to actually access the area, which means it's time to leave the dungeon. Ah, oh, boy. Which means that next video, we have got an absolute ton of Gearmoring to do. Oh, yeah. We've collected everything. So, uh, next video, we are going to be embarking upon cleaning out the entire Giorama. And I may well attempt to go with the whole 100% Hogman request as well. So, we might as well give it a damn good try, folks. It's the best we can achieve. So, uh, looks like that's what we're doing next video. Which means, I guess, we're ending this video here. So, I will thank you very much for watching. Again, sorry that this video has been as much of a cluster as it has been. But this damn bomb stuff, folks. Unnecessarily complicated, but uh, alas, here we are. Take care of yourselves, folks. And uh, yes, next time we put Mattaki back together. <laughs>